Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be opening this mystery box. This is a Pokemon Ultra Collection, premium collection of cards for collectors and budding masters. Okay, this is a uh, let's say this is a mystery box that has a one graded card for booster packs. Found this at my local game store, Wasteland Gaming. So I think it was for eighty bucks. So it was pretty good, popular. So I thought I'd check it out. This is the second version. The first version was pretty popular. So they made a second one and from what I heard they are making a third one. So for 80 bucks, four packs and one graded card. Not that much, but still pretty good. I was told that they don't have like old graded cards. It's mostly new graded cards. So I mean it's not new, it's mostly older cards. Don't expect anything too high end. But let's see what we get. Probably take a look at the graded card last. Set that up right there. And let's see here. We have a little card from them from Wasteland Gaming. And I believe the four packs are the most recent packs. Yep. Let's actually open them in order. And then we'll go to the graded card. Time to just turn around right now. But it looks. Maybe like a PSA 6 or 7. Ever since I got my return, I've been staring at those, so trying to get a better idea. So maybe I'll take a look at it as I'm opening and then make a call of what grade it possibly could be before we turn it around. Also, I can't see the front, so it could be worse on the front. <laughs> Grass Energy, Seedra, Squirrel of Swirls, Cacturn, Spoink. Glary Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, Yamper, Lickitung, Gligar, Reverse, and the rare is an Octillia Rapid Strike. Okay, I'll take that. We got a hit. Alright, on to Chilling Rain. I think the packs are kind of just extra. I think the main focus was the graded card. But for 80 bucks and 4 packs. 4 packs like what, 16-ish? So the most value is from the graded card. Hopefully we can just break even. Hopefully it's not a card I have. Psychic Energy. Porygon 2. I've still not got any of the Porygons in Legends Arceus actually. That's one Pokemon I'm missing. Dwaki. Echoing Horn. Snowrunt. Venipede. Snover. Glaring Slowpoke. Crabrawler. Deerling Reverse. And a wheezing non hollow rare. Alright, on to Evolving Skies. No, it looks like we may have something here. Alright, here's the code card. We have a Lightning Energy, Lantern, Ursaring, Crustle, Phoebus, Hoppip. Hitmonchan, Fleshling, Tentacle, Lillipup, and the rare is a Glaceon V alternate art. I will take that. Yo, that is cool. Do not have this one yet, and I will take it. Really missing a lot of the Evolution alternate arts from Falling Skies. Really like this one. I'm glad I pulled that rather than purchasing it. I think that's like, like a between forty and sixty dollar card of there, really cool card of there. Onto the final pack. Really excited for the base hand alternate. I don't think the value technically counts towards the mystery box because it came from a pack and the pack could have been anything. But technically, the mystery box has been worth it so far ish. But I'm still counting that as a four dollar pack. So fire energy, sand slash. Swadloon, Cramomatic, Sizzlebead, Klefki, Pantage, Ulu, Pancham, Togedemaru Reverse, and a Blissey non hollow rare. Alright, so out of four packs, one alternate and one hollow, I will definitely take that. Since we got the alternate art pull, that pretty much guarantees we probably make more than 80 from the box. If we were to sell the products, but not bad overall. Really 
kind of happy we had a PSA card instead of like um, some lower brand that they normally add. The whitening, whitening on the top and on the sides. So they said it's a lot of older cards normally that they put in these mystery boxes. And they range as a kind of like a bell going from the ones and twos. Higher about five sixes and then tens are kind of lower. I know they have a Blaine's Charizard first edition, a Blastoise, and a couple of shining cards in there I saw on their display. Don't think I'm going to get that, but let's hope we get something cool. Okay, we got a Charizard from the Collector's Edition. I think this might be a 5. Unfortunately, we have this already, but still another card to add to the collection. And it is 7, actually. I think this might be better than the one I have. So, that's actually pretty cool. They got an upgraded Charizard promo. Not bad. Might do a giveaway for the other one. Once I learn exactly how to do a giveaway properly. Alright guys, if you guys liked the video, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys want to check out Wasteland Gaming, you guys check them out. This is not sponsored or anything. This is just a good mystery box. If they come out with a Series 3, this is Series 2 actually. Probably might grab that one and open it up. But pretty cool. Alright guys. Take care, I'll see you guys in the next one.